Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I'm coming to you from Florida, which is um, where my parents live, and I was able to drive down here so that I could um, see my family, and Ruby is here with me. <laughs> um, but I'm sitting outside, and it's beautiful, and I feel like we have a lot to be thankful for today. So, the book that I chose is a fun one. It's called Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. And um, if you know what a narwhal is, it's um, a really cool special type of animal. But the book is called Not Quite Narwhal. So I want you to be thinking about what that could mean as I read it. Ready? Here we go. Not Quite Narwhal. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. So cute. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. I love this. He's trying to walk, but he's walking sideways, and he goes, oof and falls over. Eventually, he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him, but as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals! Actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow! They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. Unicone. You can see the rainbow coming out of their horns. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon! Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Welcome home, Kelp! I love this. He's so sweet and surprised. 
Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. <laughs> it, it turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. They took it quite well. We all knew that. So they knew that all along. Hmm. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe Just maybe. He didn't have to choose. The end. And this is really funny. See this rhinoceros? He says, I'm a unicorn. And Kelp goes, um, so maybe that's a sign that we're going to have another book. Super fun. I love this story. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me in Florida. And I hope everybody stays safe and healthy. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.